I am outraged and grieved by those acts of violence waged against innocent civilians in Gaza, in the West Bank, and Israel. The relentless bombing campaign underway in Gaza, as we speak, is cruel and unconscionable on every level. It is collective punishment of a besieged and helpless people. It is a flagrant violation of international humanitarian law. It is a war crime. Our priorities today are clear and urgent. First, an immediate end to the war in Gaza, the protection of civilians and the adoption of a unified position that indiscriminately condemns the targeting of all civilians in line with our shared values and international law, which loses all value if it is implemented selectively. Second, the sustained and uninterrupted delivery of humanitarian aid, fuel, food, and medicines to the Gaza Strip. Third, the unequivocal rejection of the forced displacement or internal displacement of the Palestinians. This is a war crime according to international law and a red line for all of us. It is our duty as the international community to do whatever it takes to restart a meaningful political process that can take us to a just and sustainable peace on the basis of the two-state solution. The only path to a safe and secure future for the people of the Middle East and the entire world, for the Jewish people, for Christians, for Muslims alike, starts with the belief that every human life is of equal value and it ends with two states, Palestine and Israel, sharing land and peace from the river to the sea. The time to act is now.